Shot. He goes. He runs. He gets the score. Score. We're gonna come up with the puck. Oh, they hit it. Nothing happened. Oh, they hit it more. Smart. The last one well. You can have it. Can you put your own lighter guy? Need to pack up the camera, guys. <laughs> Okay. I'm just kidding. There's two! Where did David go? David! What's wrong? It all is, look. Look. Look inside it. I can see it. Did you touch this thing up here? What thing? You touched something. You weren't supposed to move that button. You hit that button. You're supposed to be far away. Okay? I'm sorry. Just keep it like that and just focus on the goal. Alright? Okay. I'll make sure it's still recording. Yeah, it is. Now just look in the thing. Alright? Just look in it. Now look. Sorry for the interruption, folks. Nothing happened. Score! It's three to two. Scored. Forty. It's Forty-two. Uh oh. The other team, the Kings, won. They had a score. Laura, we got uh, David. David's still going. Hey, um, and uh, Mario uh, uh, and uh, 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 Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Okay, it's the game is over. It's half minute break in the game. Yes, it's good. Beat it, beat it. Only what you want is beat it. Up, down, Be quiet. Oh. Hey, grandmother. Stuff that was under the table. You're in the way, grandmother. And they go. And they focus. And they score. Okay, go from the outside. And the inside. Going in slow motion. You know. 
Oh, we, we were, in Tony Daniel, we were at the counter. We were at the counter with a specific ROM for your computer. The channel cast one. We went on there $100 for me. No, no, you, you, cut. Two Oh gosh! Valentin got it! No! The channel cats got it back! Valentin's going! The other team scores! Let's see that written replay in slow motion! <laughs> Video camera, David. Now wait, you're you're overwriting what was in there, right? No. We started it at the end where it was. You don't need that plant. There you are. You think I was fine in the bus? I'm trying to find it. I'm afraid my bad career. You do that. That's not something to diddle around with. It's way too expensive. Okay. He said we could record. I was sweet. I didn't say not. <laughs> he walked, Mom walked in here and said, Grandmother, we record each other. And he said, oh, I don't care. Or something like that. And he said, I don't care. He scores. Where's my camera bag? 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 Where's my camera bag?
I didn't like the way you do it. You know those things on Star Trek that look weird like that? When they land or something, they just kind of stand there like this. We each do one? No, I think we'll go to do one. Yeah, let's just, let's, can we just do one and I'll put our brains together again? Right, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? You said space. Yeah, I think space is good. So what do we make with something like that? Just think, I don't know what to do. Maybe do it in an astronaut or be something grand. What do you think they'll use in the future? What will be different in the future than maybe we'll just around. a square tire? I don't know what to do. What are around Now we're making the vehicle of this one. Okay. I'm not sure we want to make it. That's right. Yeah, that no, we're not. We're going to be in that business by the end. Be creative. Oh, you're still going to start. Don't be creative. I mean, be creative. Don't be negative now. When everybody goes to the, what is it, the, the space station in Mars, they'll have to take some vehicle with them and then they'll try to the they take with them. Yeah, you've got a spaceship that comes flying into this place and lands. Now, what's it like? Are you going to move You also made a physics that there is a planet inside, so let's use a superconductivity type so it won't flow. How can you do that? How can you do that with um, these? With can you show him how to do that with this? What are we trying to do? <laughs> So we're using electric uh, uh, magnet. Yes, magnetic. So we just use a kind of circle so that make create uh, a magnet so that it floats. But also we need a tire. Hey, but can we tell when we tell them? So we can impress them. Can we tell them that this is going to be the vehicles that people will drive when they actually go into space? Ah, so it's a totally different space. So okay, let's go see. Can they do that on on? You're drawing electromagnetic. Anti-gravitation. Right at the moment, I'm still filming. You can do that in space? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Okay, can we do that? Perfect. Good work, guys. Good work. We have some anti-gravity stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, it's not a dog's lip. Think of a neat name for it, anti-gravitational something. What could be a name? You guys think of something like that. What are you doing for a few minutes? Yeah. You get good, Steve. Uh-oh, Steve, be good. Come on, baby. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, it's already been invented. It's already done. Ninety more seconds. Okay, who's, who, who, we're, are we're you gonna, gonna talk? Are you gonna talk? Oh, yes, you gonna explain it? Okay, explain it. Ionizer. Yeah. Also, no accident because of the heat and the temperature of the distance. No accident. No accident because of what? I mean, the, uh, it's a plus and minus, yeah, let's say, uh, it's a magnetic type, so it doesn't. Did you uh, hear that? Because it will not allow itself to come together. Because of the negative and positive. Can you get that, David? Yeah. Speech? Sure. Okay. Oh, please. 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 This is for our space travel. We all go to space. What is that thing they're going to launch in space? Is it is that in, on Mars? Is that what we're supposed to be going to the space station? Skylab. Is that the one? No, I mean the one that they're doing right now. Is that from Mars? Is that from Mars? No, Skylab is from around the U.S. Uh, from around the Earth. No, it's not Skylab. It's the one that they're just. Like over at the um, Space Center, they actually take you and show you the, where they're going to go. Stay up there, be. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 I'm not going to come over and share it, but I'm too close to show it. There he is. <laughs> is that a tofu hot dog? There he is. That's a wiener. It's a non cholesterol burger. That's one of the, they're the group over here. Let's start with this group over here. Tom, who is your engineering, chief engineering spokesperson? 
Now, how many of y'all have heard a little bit about the space station? Cool, great. Well, the space station is going to be the first large, hospitable, truly multinational, permanent human outpost in space. Now, that's quite a mouthful, but what that really means is humankind going out to stay in space and the end of the little short shuttle flights. Now, does anybody have an idea why we might want to go out and stay in space? Yes, sir. Cool, okay, that's an, that's an idea. Does anybody else have any ideas? Well, yes, sir. Any other lives? And that's, that's great answers. All these are true. The space station hopefully is going to expand our knowledge base and improve our everyday life. I don't know about you, mommy and daddies, but anything that's going to improve my life, I'm pretty much all for it. Now, in a few minutes, I'm going to need some volunteers. Now, before I do that, I want to tell you a little bit about what you see here. Y'all, this is a real mock-up of a single U.S. space station with another one attached above it at a right angle. They will all be the exact same size and interchangeable. They will be 28 feet long and 14 feet in diameter. Have any of y'all ever played with Legos or Tinker Toys? Cool. Well, when the space station is fully assembled and all the way built, the space station is going to be like a zillion dollar Tinker Toy in the sky. <laughs> because the modules can sit or dock on top of each other, on the sides, on the back, and on the bottom. And we can build them as large as we want to or as tall as we want to. Or we can take them apart. Now then, for the sake of this presentation, as you can see, we have opened the module up and combined elements of both habitation module and laboratory module into one so that y'all get an idea of how the astronauts live and work in space. Now names for the module, there are markings and names for the modules have different names. Besides the USA, naturally, we have ESA for the European Space Agency, and NASA represents the Japanese Space Agency. There will be six astronauts and cosmonauts on the space station at any given time, and they will be transported up and down via the orbiter about every 90 days. Now, the large flat blue wings are your solar panels that are going to attract the sun and provide power for the station. Canada will supply the robotic arm. Now, when fully assembled, the space station will be larger than a whole football field, and other than the moon and Venus will be the third brightest object in the night sky. Now, the participating nations other than Brazil are United States, Russia, Japan, Canada, and the following members of the European Space Agency, including Sweden and Switzerland. Now, even though there are 16 different nations involved, the official language on the space station is going to be English because English is the accepted language of air travel worldwide. Now, ground control is going to be out of Houston, Texas, and the scientific operations will be right here at the Marshall Space Flight Center. Now, all these nations working together for a better future for our planet represents the largest peacetime scientific program ever. Now, naturally, this is a good reason for the space station, but it's not the only reason. Life on Earth is very different than life in space because of temperature, pressure, and microgravity. And what we're going to learn a little bit about today is microgravity. Now, the space station is going to be located about 250 miles above the Earth. So that's still close enough to feel the effects of the Earth's gravitational pull. See the little lady's ponytail, how it's sticking straight up? <laughs> That's microgravity. And microgravity allows things to float. So because of that, we can do many, many more things in space than we could ever do on Earth. We can find cures for diseases. We can make new materials. And you know, we can study human processes in ways that we've only dreamed about before. And all of this is really cool, pretty exciting. And it all began at the end of 1998 when the very first two pieces of the space station were launched into orbit. Now see how the, men, the astronauts are exercising? They have to exercise a minimum of two hours per day so that they can walk when they re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. 
Now, hopefully, Lord willing, if everything goes as planned, the space station will be fully assembled in the year 2006, and almost all of the U.S. hardware will be coming from right here in Huntsville at the Marshall Space Flight Center. That's pretty cool, huh? Oh, man, we're so fun. We're so fun. I need you two on the end, and I need you right there and all. Oh,
astronaut's bedroom or the crew quarters. Now in space, the problem with sleeping in space is you've got to keep Lauren in one spot because you don't want her waking up in the bathroom and you don't want her bumping into experiments. So we keep her in a little sleep, sleeping bag that is tethered to the back of the wall. Now, sweetie, do you use a pillow when you sleep? Yes, okay. Now, this is how we strap our astronaut in. Does she look comfortable? Yes. yes. Okay. Now, the computer setup is so that the astronaut can be in constant communication with the other astronauts and with ground control. Air is circulated via the vent or the fan to keep carbon dioxide from forming around the astronaut's face. And there will be another astronaut sleeping up here, one down here, and one down here. So, are you having big fun? You ready to float on out? Uh huh, I thought you might be. Let's give her a big round of applause. Very good. Now then, uh, let's go. Float over here, too. <laughs> I love it. Okay, sweetie. Get your Martian. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, now then, I want you to tell me. What is one of the very first things you do or you need to do when you wake up in the morning? Get out of bed. That's good. Okay, now let's pretend that you have had a really, really big breakfast and you have drank a whole bunch of juice and a lot of milk. Now what do you need to do? I know, I know it's coming. What do you mean? Go to the bathroom. Scott, have a seat. There you go. <laughs> now then, y'all, this is the toilet. Now, <laughs> are you okay? Yeah. Okay. The, the, the astronauts have another name for the toilet. They call the toilet the target. And the reason they call it, the reason they call it the target is, do y'all have any ideas? <laughs> You've got to aim for it because if Scott misses the target, ooh, that could be kind of gross and icky. <laughs> now, then, Scott, I have one more favor I need you to do for me. <laughs> no, I'm going to ask you to go to the bathroom. I'll leave that there for later. There's a little hose that I need you to bring up in between your legs. <laughs> Yes, you do. Do you want to let me in on it? Uh, no, she don't. Okay. This is what the, the manual calls a urine collection device. It's not for breathing. We don't breathe into it. Now then, do you want to know what the astronaut's nickname for it is? They call it Mr. Thirsty. <laughs> now what the astronauts do is they push a button on the back of the wall that starts a small vacuum that pulls the liquid waste from the body into a tank to be stored. The solid, the solid waste is stored by the same target system but in a different container. Now, Scott, sweetie, you look so natural up there. Okay, I got one more question. Okay. The way they keep from floating off right here are your thigh restraints that goes over your thighs, and these are your foot restraints. And that's a very good question, and those two restraints are just enough to keep our astronaut right on target. Mm -hmm. Now then, sweetie, would you like a book to read, or a Game Boy, or you got ready to float on off? Oh, yeah. And would you like to have thoughts of, will you float on off now? Very good, thank you, very good. Oh, you did a great job, you did a great job. Very good, oh, I forgot to tell you, we have a little, Tommy didn't do this one. Yeah. I'm not done. Y'all are not escaping yet. <laughs> we have a little glitch in our computer system. We can send men to the moon, but we can't keep the computer working. <laughs> now then, I need Tommy and to float over here. Oh. 